Gav, let's dive into the questions. First question, how do I improve my tail shot? So I think that the biggest thing, Rob, with the tail shots is that um, you must remember that the mallet will always follow where your forearm is pointing. So for your way backhand, you would get that hand in and the elbow out so that the mallet goes into out and that will immediately give you an away backhand. But also remember that if you're hitting an away backhand, you've got your right side forward so that you're hitting the ball earlier. With your tail shot, you have to make that turn I keep talking about and put your right butt cheek on top of the saddle, make that little half turn first as you go towards the ball, kick strong into that left stirrup to anchor yourself, and now make sure the mallet um, that you take your hand out to the right, okay? Because if you take your hand to the right so that your hand is wider than your elbow, and when you drop the mallet, you drop it across the horse so that the mallet is actually traveling in an arc to the outside and then back. But the biggest thing with your tail shot is when you hit it, don't allow your hand to go all the way back um, to where your horse is against your horse's flank because you will hit the horse's back legs that way. You have to take your hand out and flip the backhand from wider with your wrist, okay? But it's that turn of your body first and taking the hand back. And guys, if I can do it at 68 years old, so can you at any age you are. You have to reach backwards, stop being lazy. Get that hand to reach backwards so that you are turning around your body, okay? so that you're turning around your spine and reaching backwards. Don't lean back to hit that backhand. You take all your power away from there. You want to use your body into the swing, reach backwards so that as you hit the ball, you're actually looking past your horse's backside. And if you really reach backwards with that hand and flip the wrist and keep the hand a bit wide, you will see you get a lot of distance and angle. Um, not sure if that describes it well, Rob. Um, no, that's perfect, Gav. I think that was great. Um, so 